In the past 15 years, I've worked on SARS coronavirus and MERS coronavirus in the lab. The virus is used in a secure biosafety level three laboratory uh, here at University of Maryland. Uh, all of the precautions we use for SARS and MERS are in place for using this new coronavirus. And we'll be uh, manipulating it and, and analyzing its functions the same way we did for SARS and MERS, where we uh, infect cells with the virus. We try to understand how it affects different proteins and different pathways in human cells. We'll also be trying to make a animal model using mice to develop uh, therapeutics models and, and to be able to test drugs in these animals and really understand how this virus causes disease, which is really unknown at the moment. There is a very high probability that we have things that we know that are on the shelf now that are FDA approved uh, that can be actionable against this virus in the very short term. And we hope to be able to identify those in our lab. And that's immediately what we're gonna be working on. For the long term, we are helping a variety of companies develop therapeutic antibodies and vaccines to be able to treat people and patients in the long term should this virus really uh, become a problem around the world in a pandemic situation.